Chord progressions are the foundation to almost every song. And if you clicked on this video, it means you feel that yours are lacking in one way or another. So let's fix it. First, we have to find amazing chord progressions. And this is actually the easiest part. First things first, what are you in the mood to create today? You feeling emotional today? Okay. I guess it was just Valentine's, you might be a little hurt or something, but yeah, let's do it. And stick with me here because it's what we're going to do to the progressions after we find them. That's just as important as the progressions themselves. Top emotional poor progressions. Click this down here. You can build a song out of any of these. Quick side note, if you don't understand what these numerals indicate for each key, then the next rapid fire 20 seconds is for you. Otherwise, quickly skip to this time to learn how to start bringing these vanilla chords to life. There are 12 notes in each octave on a keyboard, but you're not going to use all these to make your song. You're going to use seven. Why seven? Well, each key has seven notes, and each of these seven notes is the root note of a chord, and each of these chords are numbered by the Romans. <laughs> what I recommend doing is keeping some guides up while you're making music. This site is great. It shows you every note in your key and every chord in that key. And the Romans who made this site have been nice enough to number these for us. So when you Google progression and these numerals come up and it says I, you just go here, I equals E minor. Check the notes, build the chord, easy. One chord per bar gets very boring, so let's make these worth listening to. Having perfect robotic timings and exact note lengths takes the soul out of your music. You need to have slight variations in your chord notes, but you don't want them to sound out of time. Just enough human variation and timing is the best way to do it. So do not quantize at 100%, 80% should be perfect. Or you can just do what I do and manually drag them a little bit over. The easiest one is done, next. We need to get these chords full and juicy. Double your root note an octave down. This would be the most basic form of what's called voicing. And voicing can get really interesting. It's definitely a little fuller, but let's expand on that. Here's our first chord, C, E, G. Now that's just one way to play it. I can arrange these notes in any order and it will still be a C chord. Let's bring the E up here and drag the G down here. You can experiment with spacing them out or keeping them super close together. It all sounds a little different, which is super dope. Next tip. Okay, now just open up Complete 13. You don't have access to this. $500 production suite? The instrument's just as important as everything else I just- Never mind that. I, f I found you some free pro quality instruments, link in the description. Let's move on. One of the most common things people need is getting more power in your chords. This is how you're gonna do that. Use octaves to double up some notes. In general, root and fifth are good for doubling. Duplicate this, bring it up to the next octave, and listen to that. Thick and juicy. It's that quick. Best tips are yet to come. Let's get on to the next one. So now we have some fullness and some power, but we're missing that spicy flavor. I got you. Original chord is C minor, which is a triad. Let's go down here to four note chords and it shows what the seventh is. Add that into piano roll and boom, we now have an extended chord C minor seventh. Using the chart on that site makes it super easy to go through and start experimenting with using extensions on your chord progressions. But Aaron, our chord is still a bar long and super boring, great catch. Let's fix it. All right, this part is a little less straightforward to explain, so I have a free tool in a minute that's gonna help us, but first we need to experiment with changing the length of our chords. A safe place to start dragging things is around here. Turn your grid to 1 8 and experiment with that. Fast forward, let's listen. Okay, sounds better, but there's a big difference between this and this. So how do we get here? Honestly, the same way we get most places, and that's copying professionals. Now, most people don't have access to professionally played MIDI, but you do. Lucky you. Taking five MIDI files with chords from my MIDI pack so that anybody can do this and not just previous customers. Look at this chord. Look how strange that looks compared to ours. All the chord notes are slightly different lengths because these were played on an actual keyboard by an actual human, which is something we can totally copy. Try to apply two or three things that you notice and apply them to your chord progression. See how early these cut off? And then they come back here to transition. You have tons of techniques from this free pack to take for your own. We haven't even gotten to the most important tips. How much time is left here? That's not good. Guys, right before this next tip, I'd like to ask you if you could please press that like button. It helps me a ton. It helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach more people. Thanks in advance for pressing like. Back to the video. We need some ear candy. Spice up your progressions by having a totally separate instrument playing just part of the chord progression. For example, just take these top notes. You can get really creative with layering. Just be careful not to go overboard and EQ the layer if you find it's clashing. Arrangement can make or break your song. Now, how does this apply to chords? Let me tell you, if your song's feeling a little stale, you can mix up your chord sections. What do I mean by that? If your intro, verse, A section are changing chords every one bar, then your bridge or B section can change every half bar or every two bars. You can experiment here or keep them all the same because if it sounds good, 
You can listen to tips all day long, but guys, the best inspiration that you're gonna have is from your favorite music. Make a song from their chord progression and see if you can make it your own. Copy, 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 and copy some more. Google is your friend. You can Google any song name with the chord progression and it's gonna be there. Oh, how are we doing for time? Did we, did I make it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not done yet. There's a good chance you are wasting years of your valuable music production journey making these deadly mistakes.